Hey everyone, within this video we are going to discuss ClipPay, the credit card and ACH processing, all within Clip ITC. Uh, so first things first, you will need to fill out your ClipPay application. In order to do so, um, please reach out to support at clip.com or jacobr at clip.com or call us at 1-800-635-8485. Once you have submitted your application and you've been approved and boarded, uh, the first thing you need to do is double check your settings. So there's a little bit of setup with, uh, within the clip side, uh, so we will notify you once that is complete. So after someone reaches out and lets you know you're set up and good to go, the first thing you want to do is go over to uh, your settings key in the top, uh, top right-hand corner here. And then you want to select your company info. Perfect. So the first thing you want to check is within the second box here, the clip pay settings. Uh, you should have your username, password, and merchant ID all filled out. Uh, you want to make sure that this is uh, selected to clip pay. Um, now the other options down here below, um, these are your program fees. You can toggle these on, you can toggle these off uh, for um, your auto pay settings, your customer payments, and your single payments, along with your anonymous payments too. So what are these? Um, what this is, is the program fee, the 2.85%. This is where you can elect to pass those fees on to your customers that are opting to pay with credit card. So if you want to absorb that charge, you don't want to pass it on to your customers, perfectly fine. Just make sure that all of these check boxes are clicked off. If you do want to pass those on to your customers, I would recommend you do so. Um, then you can have those selected too. So after you have those settings really set up, uh, there is uh, one other portion you want to look at in order to uh, make sure that you have your settings for your different users turned on or turned off depending on what you want uh, your users to see. So let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at the settings and the permissions for Trevor. So once you click on users on the initial screen and you select the user you want, the one we're going to look at primarily is the bottom option here, credit card uh, and merchant track settings. So if you click on the plus sign here, you can see that there's a lot of permissions. So what this allows you to do is turn on, uh, turn on the ability to process credit cards or see your merchant statements and turn off. You have a lot of different uh, settings and a lot of different permissions. So it really gives you access to allow your team to use uh, and not use what you do and don't want them to use. So make sure those settings are set up correctly. So once you have those set up, there's a few different portions of Clip Pay. Um, the first one is going to be the customer portal. I highly recommend you use this. Uh, reason being, it cuts down on the amount of office work that you and your team need to do. Uh, with the customer portal, your customers can go in, pay their invoices, request service, see their history, um, and that's a lot less that you that you need to do as a team. So to verify that your portal is working and to verify uh, all your settings, we're going to go back into this, the setting and gear icon at the top right hand corner. And then right here on the left hand side, you're going to select customer portal. So this gives you several different options to your customer portal. Now the portal tabs that you do want to show, more than likely you're going to want to show all of these options. So the first one's going to be the home tab, self-explanatory there. Uh, your payments tab, this is where your customers can go in and pay. Uh, enable invoices tab, this is so your customers can see all their invoices, histories, same thing, and then they can request a service note or request service itself. Um, on the next line down, for the portal options, you can you can have whether or not your customers are able to enroll at AutoPay, if they can show their uh, charges, their payments, and their history, and enable their logins. So uh, below here, you can select who you're going to send your service notes to and your service request um, notes as well too. So these are set to send to Trevor, so if you want to send them to yourself, you can do so. If you want to send them to another member of your team, you can do that as well. If you want to change your portal theme and portal colors for branding, feel free to do that as well. And you can also edit your portal header background too. So a lot of branding opportunity there. Very easy and very uh, very simple for your customers to get a familiar face and a familiar name with, with their portal. So the next thing you want to do after confirming your settings is send the portal invitation to all your customers. So this is going to send the invitation to everyone within your Clip ITC account that has an email address. Once the customer receives that email, asking them to log into the portal, they'll create their own account with their username, with their password, and you can manage 
their uh, the, the user you can manage all the portal users with this option right here uh, you can go in you can reset their password if they need it or you can just collect card information over the phone if they call with an issue either way to see a sample of the portal this is a, this is what your customers are going to see obviously you can change the colors uh, for branding opportunity this will be your logo as well but the primary thing that you that your customers are going to do is make a payment on this so let's say they receive an, uh, an email invoice it's for fifty dollars they'll be able to see their account their name email address and their physical address along with the total amount owed they could select whether they want to pay via credit card or ACH and if they want to save the card for auto pay and then they can select fifty dollars so with this being a dummy account it won't let me go any further but then I would select the submit button and a box would pop up saying hey type in your credit card information similar to uh, similar to maybe a, a net fit a Netflix uh, credit card payment screen or really any other subscription based um, um, software where you have to put in a credit card if they want to see their past invoices, if they want to see their history, they have all this as an option as well. If they want to send you a service note, watch out for a dog leash, or if they want to request a service note of, hey, I need uh, mulch in the flower beds next month, then they'll be able to request that all within the customer portal. So very simple, very easy. A lot of customers are opting to put a link to this on their website to make it even more easy for their customers to, to make a payment and reduce the, reduce the workflow from their office staff. So back in Clip ITC, uh, another portion of Clip Pay is the uh, single payment option. So let's say somebody calls in and says, "Hey, I am away from my computer. I can't make a payment on my uh, on my portal, but I have my card information. Can I go ahead and pay my bill?" Of course you can. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go uh, hover over invoices and then take the single payment. and that will bring you into the single payment screen. From here, if you have the invoice number, you can type in the invoice number and hit find, or if you want to select the customer to, from the dropdown, you can do that as well. So just for example, we'll look at Mr. Garth Brooks here. Looks like he owes $615, so if he says, I wanna pay for it all, I wanna pay $100 of it, whatever that might be, you'll be able to type in the amount here. Let's say he wants to pay off his balance, and he wants the memo to be um, today's date, August 31st, 2021. Great. Um, so from there, you want to select the payment method. He wants to pay by credit card. If you wanted to do ACH, he could do that as well. Select credit card and hit process. This is a verification screen, so make sure all the information here is correct. If they want to enroll in auto pay, then they can select that as well. Once you verify their information, process payment brings up the screen, type in the credit card number, type in the expiration date, as well as the CVV, pay $615, and it's perfect. Everything will reflect in the account. Um, so to verify that, you would click on the customer. You would find Mr. Garth Brooks again. On the quick history, you'll see the payment is made. Again, this is just a dummy account, so it wouldn't have the true payment uh, included in there. Um, but it will reflect in the quick history as well as the other history of the customer too. It will show everything in here. So that's how you process a single payment within Clip ITC. Uh, the only other portion of um, of Clip Pay is Merchant Track. Um, that is coming in a later video, so please stay tuned, and we will have that to you soon. Thank you. If you have questions over Clip Pay, um, please reach out to us at support at clip.com or jacobr at clip.com or give us a call 1 800 635 8485. Thank you.